just a really quick video review here of how we go about setting a custom font or a typekit font while using Adobe Animate. So I'm going to run over and grab my text tool over here, draw a box to put some type in. Uh, oops, get my use sunshine. We were using that for another one a few minutes or a little while ago. Okay, get that set on the on the page here. So you'll notice once I do that, you know, highlight it again, that I my default went to Gil Sands. It's 110 point. It's blue. Um, but if I want to go to a custom font, I need to go up here and change from a static text to a dynamic text. I'm going to go right here, this globe right here, adding the web fonts is not available under static. So go change this to dynamic. Once you do that, you can come click on the globe, and it's going to go give me some options here. Okay, so here are my typekit fonts. Now the first time you do this, it'll bring up a dialog box just kind of an introduction for you. Doesn't do it the next time. So now I can come in here and flip through and find a typeface that I want to use. So I'm just going to glance real quick and find something that's obviously different. Mm -hmm. Nothing is standing out as awesome. So let's just pick something instead. Okay, let's slide back up. Here we go. Adobe. Caslon Pro or a Dell Sans. Let's go for the Dell Sans. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to select it. See, I get the little arrow in the corner and I say OK. Oops. Do, 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 do. We wait for it to go pull the fonts because this is Creative Cloud. It's actually pulling it across the internet. It's not currently stored on my computer. There we go. So now that it finishes that, when I come back to the font family here, I'm going to scroll all the way to the top and they'll list them right here. So Adele Sands is the only one I have listed under web fonts. So I'm going to click on that one, drag it out so I can see the whole thing. So definitely a little bit different than what I had set before. So I can reshape this. So at this point, I have a custom font installed. I'm utilizing it as well, and I could go ahead and move forward and animate it if I'd like. You know, let's test it real quick just to make sure it's displaying over here. There we go. So we see it appearing over there. So I'm all set to go ahead and create animation or put my next element on the page, whatever direction I want to go with this next.